Okay, now we need to figure out if this is working better or not. Hopefully we're not going to be picking up any background noise. So sorting out a few things with the microphone. That should be better. Okay, the layouts have changed a little bit, so let's see how this works. I hope there's no important information that's been covered on the screen. It does not look like it. Okay, so where am I? Starting Act 7. Oh yeah, I forgot I got a whole inventory worth of shit. I don't know if there's anything specific that I want to hold on to. I think I've already swapped this out. Twenty-seven fifty. That is twenty-one forty-one. That's for it. That clearly does more damage. Uh, uniques can go back into this. I've probably got more than that that I need. I want to hold on to that because that's potentially something that I need. And for now, we're just going to put that in there. Let's just hold on to that for now. Okay. Let's see how this works.
Wait, what did I miss? What dropped? Oh, we were great. Definitely gotta take that. So like I mentioned at the end of the last stream, everything from here basically for me is almost brand new. I think I've been this far with one character and didn't get much further than Act 7, so I'm not really sure what's ahead of me. So I might potentially slow down moving forward, but I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> This is me still learning a lot of Path of Excel. Oh, that's another thing. I don't actually think I've got my build up. Ah, what level are we? We're currently level 58. Take this through to level 58. And where should I be at this point? Okay, so I've wrapped around to the... I haven't touched any of this, so I need to do this first. Confused. What's the point of this? I'm very confused. What is the point of this? Oh, just gives me rewards for finishing it off. Okay, thank you. Wait, what is that? Complete the temporal incursions. Is that something I should be doing? Or doesn't it really matter? Okay, so that was a lovely circle.
What's this? What I put in here? I'm guessing I'm looking for something. Oh, defeat them. Oh, okay. So I can't go down yet. I there's something else I'm looking for first. That just loops around to this. I've got to go up and across. No, that's a dead end. That's another dead end. Yes, yeah, so it looks like this is my only way to go. Okay, I'm confused. Oh, there's a section at the bottom that I missed. Okay, nothing worthwhile in that chest. Was that the thing that I needed? What in the hell am I actually looking for? Okay, I have literally covered every inch of this cavern. What am I missing? Am I not supposed to be in here yet? Okay, well, seeing as there's nothing in here for me to find, I'm guessing I'm not supposed to be in here yet. So, guessing there has to be something somewhere else. Is there... I don't know if there's a reason for me to be doing all this stuff or not. Or something dropped somewhere. What's that? Uh, what's this? Okay, I made a door green. What in the world does that mean? Supposed to kill every single monster that exists inside you. I'm guessing. Okay, well, that's blocked. Can't go through there. Can't go up there. What am I missing? There must be another route somewhere for me to go. Oh, there's another path here.
Am I just following the path? I've got so many questions. Step I'm supposed to go. Which around was it? So it was clockwise, anti clockwise around. the thing I was looking for. That's the thing I needed for that map room. Which I don't know what to sell and what not to sell. I know I could put some of this stuff away. Not quite sure what to do with the rest of the stuff. I know there's stash tabs that I can buy, but I don't want to buy any of them right now. So for now, everything just goes in there. And then somewhere I need to take the time to identify which one of those ones are better than what I'm currently using. All of that can be sold. That, that, and that I need to keep. Was that a health or mana? It was mana. Dude, I just sold the gym. Yes, I sold the gym. Freaking idiot. So, do I put this thing in your know, and then say activate? Does it matter what portal I go into? Um, this one? Okay, this place isn't weird at all. Anything specific that I'm looking for? Defeat Maligaro. Maligaro.
really how did I miss this little passage previously Um, what are rogue markers? I have literally just been asking questions. Because I honestly have got no idea what half of this stuff does. I think this is the part that I was scared of. I've heard so many people talk about the end game. Now I know I'm not at the end game that only comes after Act 10, but just all the stuff that leads into it, I can just imagine how difficult it's going to become. Or how complex it's going to become. Okay. Okay. Now, how can I do a direct comparison as to how much damage this does? I suppose if that shows a damage increase, then it means it worked. Okay, that's a thousand one hundred. Nope, nothing happened to that. <laughs> nothing happened to that. Okay, so how the hell do I actually determine? So that is 13% increased damage plus 15. Right. Increased physical damage. 23 plus 14, that's already more. I'm guessing that's going to be better. I honestly don't know. I don't know if any of these other ones are better than what I've got. That was 38. One I was previously using was 21 to 41, 38 to 71, 28 to 53. I'm guessing the damage output on this one is going to be more, but I honestly don't know. Okay. What the hell is this now? Oh, hold on. Doesn't that mean I can now go um, down to the next level? Yes, it does. Charlotte was sending. I think I've done that one. Oh, this one. Um, let's go one there. One, yeah. Where's more stuff? Go. Wait, can I say you're not going to this room? And then one. Okay.
Okay, that did a lot, but did it actually do a lot? That gave me nothing. That gave me nothing. That gave me something. That gave me something. Use charges per use. Consumes 7 out of 35, consumes 5. Oh, yes, I'll take that instead. Thank you. Oh, but I'm not going to dash across there. That's stupid. Hold on. It's broken. Why do they not allow me to dash there? No monster to kill this time. Okay, before I go any further, I'm going to go back to the bridge engagement and see if there's anything here that I was supposed to do. Um, not just because I don't know I'm not going to convince myself or confuse myself I'm just going to sell it blue blue red red that might be worth it 25% increased movement speed that is massive and it's got cold resistance on it I just need to put cold and lightning resistance on it Um, craft movement speed on that's a lot better than what I had. The ten percent increase. Uh, cold and lightning resistance level forty. Craft sixteen percent. I'm not looking. Fire and lightning. Why did I lose so much on fire and lightning? Put on that. Fire resistance, craft, lightning, fire, maximum mana. Can I do anything to you? No, I can't. So my lightning is a problem. Is that going to be a problem for me, though? Is this good? Is this bad? Is this shit? No one else I could go from here, so just dash and fields now. Oh, that's nice.
Ooh, that's very nice. That's a six link. I am definitely going to hold on to that. 126, 133. Cold resistance. I might be able to craft this. Already got the three links that I know. It doesn't. I might have to relink it a couple of times, but that's nice. In my opinion, that could be very wrong. Am I fighting in an arena? What's happening here? Was that it? It wasn't exactly very difficult. Uh... So it looks like I can have one small one active and one big one active. Physical damage of a top taken while moving. No, it doesn't. Uh, that sounds good. Life flasks gain three charges every three seconds if you haven't used the life flask in a while. Reduction per second. You pitch there. Uh, I'll go with this one. Uh, talk to me for your reward. Are there important missions that I'm missing for some reason? So it's later to acquire the stats at the bottom. Oh, okay. Because I've got no idea what the hell that meant. And how you doing, Maestro? Hope you're doing well, man. Glad to hear that. I hope you like the changes I've made to the to the stream. I'm doing good, thank you. It was a bit of a rough day. It was a long day at work. And basically came home finished setting up the YouTube channel, so that's good. So now all my videos, once they have been live over here, they will automatically be ported to YouTube as well. So finished setting that up. And yeah, started streaming just a little while ago. Yes, progress, <laughs> slowly but surely. If I'm planning on doing anything with this channel, actually taking it seriously and growing it to the point where I want it, it's gonna take some. It's gonna take some work, but I feel it's gone well so far. Okay, why am I collecting fireflies?
Wait, how do I run past that and miss that completely? Don't worry about that right now. I asked this question last time. What is actually the best flask to take here? Is it granite flask of 1500 armor or is it the jade flask of evasion rating and then what do i replace do i replace one of my health or do i replace the second flask the quicksilver flask Um, <laughs> it's a very good question. So armor, I've got 662 evasion. I've only got 21, so I'm guessing I'm going for armor more than evasion. So I guess that kind of becomes self-explanatory. Okay, I can't take that yet. Um, let's just sell off some stuff. Yeah, it looks like armor. <laughs> can't take that either. That so I know I do not have the cleanest dash tabs in the world. But I haven't bought any fancy ones yet, so... <laughs> uh, armor. Oh, and that's the follow-up question. This flask, does this replace... The third health flask that I've got, or does this more so replace the second quicksilver that I've got? You'd replace both, okay. What would you replace the second with? A sulfur flask. Okay. Let's see if somebody's got a sulfur flask available. No, be her. No, I might actually. I might potentially have one. I do not. I thought I might have a random sulfur flask lying around here somewhere. Silver, silver, amethyst, granite, and amethyst. Nope. And just want to check the bolt to see what I'm moving into next. Okay, I've done this entire section over. Looks like now I'm going down. To strength and then up into there and then across. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, maybe not a marble, but in general, silver is also good. Okay. The sulfur is something that I'm more specifically looking out for. Is there a vendor that has got something like that more consistently? Maybe one of the previous towns, or is it something I'm going to have to look around for four drops? Oh, there's something. How do I get there? You're going to have to drop it. Okay. Guessing that was it. Did I fast travel to the wrong place? I think I did. No, I just to find an exit. Oh, probably up north. Is it worth doing these things whenever I come across them? I know this is from one of the previous leagues that's now become core, but is it actually worth it doing it? Ask this quite frequently. Okay. I've got a question to ask you about those clusters. I'll finish this off and then I'll ask it because I've got a few in my inventory. I've just got no idea what the hell to actually do with them. Damn it. I was not paying attention. Okay. 
those things. That's what I need to ask questions about. Because I have got quite a few of them in my stash. But like, I don't know if we... Are you supposed to use them? Are you supposed to sell them? Are they actually worth it? Because from what I read, apparently they take up a, 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 a socket that a jewel normally goes into. Minion Devon cluster most likely. Attributes, chaos resistance. Quality of a strong box. Okay, that's something separate. And it's small passive skills and grants plus due to strength. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at everything I've got in my chest. And why am I carrying around fireflies?
Where the hell am I going? Oh, she wants the fireflies. Wait, did I not? Do I not have enough? Am I missing some? Oh, for fuck's sake. Where the hell did I get those fireflies? It was in the jet ticket, wasn't it? What about the larger zone in the game? Oh, great. Okay, I'm full up on that, so there's no point in me getting more of that shit. But I got them all. How many do I have? Five. Well, yeah, I clearly did not get them all. No, but that's not the way, so I've gone the wrong way. I'm blind or something. So maybe further down. It is in the dread ticket, right? Yep, there it is. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I've got everything. And then the ball city. That worked. <laughs> Is this the biggest part of the game that you're talking about?
I'm guessing at some point I need to actually do the second uh, ascendant. Ascendancy. I know what I need to do. I just need to actually go back and do it. I think I've already got the next three ascendancy trials done. I'm guessing that's also going to get me a nice little damage boost when I eventually do it. I'll probably do it at the end of this act. Yeah. Okay, question. This lady that does all these um, incursions, should I do this? Is it worth it? Yeah, no, I definitely will appreciate it because I, nine times out of ten, go through the wrong passage and end up looping around so many times in the Ascendancy trial. You can do it anytime. Okay, so for right now, I can skip it, then it's not too much of an issue. Why do I feel like this is going to be rough? Okay, I'm guessing stay out of the purple stuff. That went better than I thought. Uh, that sounds better than that. Ooh, no. Wait, can I not go back inside there? Damn it. Okay, so that's starting Act 7, so... We'll go back to Act 3. I think this is where I'm going to need your help. 
and then let me just sell off the shit that I really don't want. Dump off everything I do want. Goes there. Goes there. That just puts there. You see, I've got a whole bunch of gems here. Guessing I actually need to take the time to see which one of these actually works for uh, minion damage. I'll have a look through those at a later stage. Yeah, let's go to the synergy trial. Oh, let's quickly have a look. Um, maximum life. Elemental resistance, strength. Increased effect, attributes chaos, intelligence, elemental resistance, and physical heart. Uh, regeneration rate, armor, chaos, lightning, drinker, weight advantage, and generation, defense, and destruction, gold resistance. No, it does not look like there is any um, minion ones in there. No minions, unfortunately, no. I always forget what the damn thing is. Uh, you're in the Affliction League. I'm playing in Standard, though. Are you going to be able to join? Yeah, I'm not playing Affliction. That's why I've got so much currency just lying around. I'm going to kill myself. I was not paying attention there. Okay, this is the entrance to the first one. I know that much. Those statues give it away. Never mind. That's the sanatorium passage. And I got that one wrong as well. Reading the Aspirin Trials, does this mean there's another way that I can get to the next room that would be there? Or does it mean that I have to go through here onto that? So if I go back to the previous room, there should be another door that takes me directly to the adjacent room. Is that how this reads? Okay, so it is actually better for me to go back into this room. Oh, but that area is quite small. Okay.
Okay. Yeah, that was pretty small. Ooh, bone ring. Bone rings are good because they give my minions elemental resistances. Wait, what? Oh, please don't tell me this is one of those time things. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. That was close. I nearly died there. I'd love to know how close to death I actually was there. <laughs> Quite close. <laughs> the silica holes. Would we better to rather go... Oh, no, this is right. Okay, I just did a full fucking circle. That goes to a dead end. That didn't go too badly.
Yeah, one more section left. God, I feel like I don't want to do that section, but I'm going to have no choice. Really? Oh, I might die. I died. I didn't have my other mouth half flask. No. <laughs> That sucks. I'm so used to having another health flask and I didn't use it. Oh, okay, that blows. That really sucks. That was at least a very nice quick first section to make up for that abysmal fail. I feel like it might have been this way. Nope, they didn't. I can't believe I died like that. Not like I can speed through and get it, catch up to where I was. I 
killing myself again. Okay, I've caught up to our wires a little bit quickly. That's a good thing. Okay, let's not die this time. Oh god. I'm probably gonna end up going the wrong way. Oh, here's a door. No ways. I'm taking that as a win. Liquid mask, take gloves, take the sword, and yeah, that's it for now. Come on, that had to have made up for it. This good? Is this not good? Usually for me, I'm guessing right now, but in general. And then a follow-up close, follow-up question. Is it worth doing this kind of stuff to your gym? So my main gem at the moment obviously is the um, summon raging spirits is it actually worth it putting it in then either adding five million experience to a gem or adding four percent quality to it
A ghost will transfigure Jim and hope for a pin and sprain or dissipation. What the fuck is a transfigure gem? You didn't help me with that sentence, you just confused me more. <laughs> Are you talking about this? Transformer skill gem to be a transfigure gem of the same color. No. Not the one you're using. Ah, okay. So this is the kind of thing where you would want to bring a... A random blue gem. Possibly the same one, just a different one. And come and do it to that one instead. So, do I just carry, grab any random blue one, or would I specifically want Summon Raging Spirits? Any blue skill. And the level doesn't matter or anything like that. Any blue that's not a support. Okay. So, Firestorm should work. See what happens. Righteous Fire of Arcane Devotion, Flame Surge of Combustion, or Essence Drain of Desperation. <laughs> no pen and spread so none of these are good I'm guessing I can't tell you how many times I have been inside this room and never done this before in my life Aim blast. Um, uh, where's, I don't have aim blast. I've got righteous fire of arcane devotion, uh, flame surge of combustion, and essence drain of desperation. Flame surges with 4C. Okay. Looks like that then. There, and there, and there. Apply. Yeah, there's not. I have never sold a single thing in, on any trade market in this game. I know it's there. I know that stash tabs help with that. But I've never sold a single thing on this game. I don't even know what's worth anything. I know there's a whole bunch of tools that can help you figure that shit out, but... Yeah. No idea.
Oh, don't sell that because I need to figure out what the hell to do with that thing. Okay, I think I'm the furthest I've ever been in the game. I don't think, from what I can remember, that I've ever made it past this point. Nope, I haven't found a single one of the labyrinth things for that, so I need to find another three. I've been higher than level 63, but that just means I'm over overfarmed certain areas, but Yep, Act 8, that is officially the furthest I've ever been in the game. <laughs> I don't know whether to be happy or disappointed in myself, the fact that I've worked close to 400 hours in the game, which I know in retrospect for this game is nothing, like you've got 2,900 hours, Maestro, and I know there's people with a lot more than that as well, but the fact that I've got 400 hours into the game and this is the first time I have ever gotten to this point, maybe one or two areas cleared, but like to this point, to the point where I've actually got a build that feels strong and doesn't feel like I'm fighting for my life every 10 seconds. I mean, I'm dying because I'm stupid, not because the build sucks. I don't know if that should be a compliment or a disrespect or, or a what, but there's people who do that in like four hours. They run from beginning to end. <laughs> I couldn't do it in 400. <laughs> Uh, that's horrible. <laughs> Wait, now, what the hell? Which way do I go now? My first time I consisted of me completing the campaign over and over again to try out different builds. Then probably 25 times. No. Nope. You see, I kept... Uh, like, I kept trying new builds and trying new builds and trying new builds, but... I always wanted to try and build it myself. And I think that was one of the biggest problems because with me trying to build it myself, I had no idea what I was doing. This thing was an absolute nightmare because I didn't know should I make my way over like spreading out like this all these nodes that go into deck strength and enter. I would have never done that. I tried to find everything like in clusters and within areas that are close by because I felt like all of these in-betweens were wasted. And put on the mapping gear. You would have the gear ready the entire time and level up to it. Yeah. You see, that's one of those things, a perfect example of that came with experience. I mean, how long did it take for you to probably grasp the game? To probably grasp what it is that you were doing? Oh no, I can imagine. I mean, if I'm enjoying it at this point, I can imagine what happens when the build properly comes together. Maybe those 500 hours. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the issue for me. I haven't put in that time yet, so I don't quite 
understand. I mean, if I make it to maps, this will be the first time I ever make it to maps. The previous builds always just felt like I was falling off somewhere massively. Either on damage or on life or on something. And I'd always just end up quitting the build because I just didn't know of a way to fix it. Wait, what the hell is that? Add an enchantment to a utilite flask that will improve it but prevent it from gaining charges during its effect. Okay. Watching other people who are learning the game is hard, and not watching people who already know what they're doing. Like, I've tried watching some. Like some content creators that are really good at the game and trying to follow along with builds that they were doing or guides that they were running like Zizaran, i tried following him along with some of these in-depth playthroughs that take like six seven hours and like somehow i am still following him step by step i just suck <laughs> and i don't know if it's i suck or if i just don't know what i'm looking for like he does or like other people do And one of the biggest issues I discovered was is everyone keeps saying follow a build guide, follow a build guide. I have tried following a build guide more than once. And some of the build guides that are out there are just confusing. Like, I don't know what weapons to use. I don't know how to level or prioritize or focus what comes when. You see, it helps me out massively having someone like you around because, I mean, if I ask you a question, I can ask. That's the only problem. If you've got a build guide that you're following with zero support, if you've got questions, well, <laughs> shame. Nobody's answering you. I did also make the mistake i went on to the poe discord and like an idiot i went into the need help chat and i was like i need a tutor <laughs> somebody who can sit me down and explain this absolute clusterfuck to me and the one guy was nice enough he actually responded and he basically told me straight out like um yeah no one's got the time for that it's gonna take too long to explain to you every aspect of what the game entails and he said the same. He said it's easier to just find a guide or build that is relatively easy to follow. And he actually gave me the link to the one that I'm following at the moment. And he says, try your best to follow it as much as you can. As you're following it, realize where there are things that you can learn things that are struggling with, what makes sense, what doesn't make sense. And it helped. A bit. I mean... Based on the advice I got there, this is the furthest I've ever gotten, so. Okay, something worked.
This is definitely not confusing. What the hell am I supposed to navigate this place? Okay. Uh, where was I? That's done. Oh, we got this today. There we go up into there. Is there even a reason for me to check all these rooms? Or are these all just dead ends? A door. Great, the load splits. Let me guess, there are two areas. No, there's only one area. You see, because I've done the first five acts like a billion times, I feel more comfortable with those. Over here, I'm just running blindly.
like in your personal opinion would you say the clearing speed is good is bad am i slow as all balls Build kind of carries itself, yeah. <laughs> All the props can be given to the build, that's for damn sure. Good, bad, shit, terrible, horrible, great. If the ring. I'm happy with my two stone rings, I'm just gonna take that. I just want to save those ones and then obviously the uniques. I know you're saying vendor all uniques, but I'm holding on to them just in case. <laughs> just in case there's a reason for me to have them later in the future. Get okay, this, I have never seen before. Ancient orb reforges a unique equipment as another of the same item class. Horizon shard, a stack of 20 orb of horizons. The fuck is an orb of horizon? Oh, I've actually got. Oh, I did not know that that's actually a. Not sure that's a currency. And then these lovely things, like, at what point does that become worth it? 
Drops the essence, trapping a monster, modifying them unpredictably. Huh? The fuck does that mean? Is that part of the Aina stuff? Where you've got to capture beasts? Corrupts the essence, trapping a monster, modifying them unpredictably. There are certain few essences you'll be looking out for. I probably have a few of them. Because apart from those ones there, I've got more box at the bottom of here as well. <laughs> but you use remnants on those before popping them. And what the fuck are remnants? T14 plus maps. I'm guessing that's very late game. So basically what you're saying is, I'm an idiot. <laughs> and there's a lot to learn. And I shouldn't worry about myself, about that kind of shit right now. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, where am I going? Is this the same as the first time you basically came through here? Like, I'm looking for... Oh, this bridge was blocked the previous time. That's the harbor bridge. Yeah, well, that's clearly blocked. Uh, you need to go to Solaris level 2. Didn't I do that? Solaris Temple. I did not. Damn, okay. Mm, 25% movement speed. My boots have already got 25% movement speed. Um... With it just going back. Yeah, because there's no set point there, so I need to make my way back to the temple. I don't know, fuck that up. Where is the temple? Did the, I don't know, I could come through the temple to get you. Or did I just completely skip an entire section? I apparently skipped an entire section.
no, there's no space for that. Okay, so that's the Imperial Fields. So somewhere there's stairs that go down. Uh, let's take a guess. I'm going to say down. Nope, of course I was wrong. Item with up to four linked sockets. Yeah, this is the entire section that I missed. Thank you very much for that. I would have completely overlooked that. Uh, why am I here though? Is this for part of the ascendancy trial? Or is there actually a mission down here? Uh, is there actually a mission down here? Or is this uh, one of the ascendancy trials that I need to do? Ah, okay. Solar Eclipse. Find the Sun Orb. Okay. Oh, straightforward. Well, I mean, I did it quick enough for the areas not to reset, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm guessing I need to find the moon orb for that one. Okay, excellent. Okay, so I'm going down the street now. Really?
Let me guess, the such called the Lunar Side because it's darker. <laughs> okay, so there's multiple ways I can go here. Where's the area I'm looking for over here? So I have multiple missions to do here. I'm guessing the Lunaris Temple. Solaris. Lunaris. Solar Luna. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a fair <laughs> Why does that seem so obvious, but that's the first time that's made sense to me? And I feel like an idiot now. <laughs>
Mm, which are all my going? I'm just going all of them, okay. You don't have enough space for uniques because <laughs> you're holding on to every single unique you got. Oh, there's something wrong with me. Oh, come on, there has to be a space. There has to be where I can move this shit around. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. You're just gonna go there for now. Uh, so the hover bridge is where I need to get put in those two things, but now what are these two connections? Is that something I should go back for and do? Or is it something I can visit at a later date? Is there something about your travel to the quiet, travel to the grain gate? What am I doing at the grain gate? I'm not doing this shit again. You're not ready for to end the act, but there's a trail and a skill point to be had. Ooh. At those two in the next act, or is that something that I have to get at those two nodes that are still questioned out? In the bathhouse. I'm guessing the bathhouse is one of the places I haven't got yet. Lovely. So I'm just going to run through this until I get to the bathhouse. Okay, how the hell did you discover that? Or oh, whoever discovered it? Because this game doesn't exactly have a tutorial that you can follow. We'll just know things. <laughs> How? How do they just know these things? <laughs> I've got no idea if I'm even going in the right direction. Found the bathhouse. That helps. I didn't check for anything else in that previous area. But see, just 
Tapi Ik vond het slechts beste. Was it forward slash passive? Did I spell it wrong? Uh, yeah. Was it P-A-S-S-I-V-S? Does it matter where I type it? <laughs> oh, one from and it was in service to science. Torment, father of war. The puppet masters, the masters of faces. Okay. So am I looking for an ascendancy trial in you? Or a passive? Oh. Okay. Well, I just got the point. And there's this energy trial. Okay. If this is one of those time things, I'm not going to be happy. Hello? Are you open? I hope you're closed. Am I stupid or something? What did I miss? Click that switch. Click that switch. That's in. That's that one. That's flicked. That's that one that's flicked. Why is there not a door open? Where the hell's the third switch? I see the first switch. I see the second switch. How do I get to that? How do I get to that switch? It's also locked for me to be able to get there. Um, I'm an idiot, I promise. I promise I do have an IQ. <laughs> I'm not just a complete idiot. That was horrible. Yeah, <laughs> I noticed. So I'm still looking for a passive three year, right? Okay, so that just takes me back to So now I need to go downstairs to the next room. Or branch off to the next room. Let's do a door to the high gardens. Yeah, I should find the door now. Found it.
Yeah. I'm guessing that was the passive you were talking about. Well, am I searching for something else here as well? Oh, come on, I hate it when that happens. Thank you. You'll be done with the campaign in no time. I'm actually looking forward to it. So I'm done, you're right. I can go back to Sonic Camp and I can go back to the bridge now and actually do the uh, moon and sun thingy. Great, and I've got to find the way to the bridge again. That's the Lunaris Temple. I don't want to go there. Oh, I want to go up the opposite side. I'm gonna be very pissed if I ran to like the other side of the world and this door is here right by me. I ran to the other side of the fucking map and the door is right by me. It's irritating. Yeah, but it is like you say, this build is is doing all the carrying. But am I fighting two people? I'm in Act 9. Yay!
Okay, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm actually excited. Is the what's the girl's name? Delia, Delilah, Daniel. <laughs> what the? Okay, they're not there anymore. Question: My completed card decks are they actually worth anything, or should I just sell them? Like these ones, um, scrolls of wisdom, orbs, quality currency, uh, five times currency, and life armor. Should I just sell them? Like give them to that dude? Just give them to Lily Tsusuni. All right. Not like I didn't have enough of those. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It didn't exactly make me richer. <laughs> oh, I need those back. Oh, take that, take that, take that, take that. Know what that I'm gonna do with that, so for now that can just be tossed inside there. Sell that, sell that, sell that. A blight while clutching talisman, a global defenses, fire resistance, lightning resistance, 50% slower start of energy shield recharge during any flask effect, and 150% increased energy shield recharge duration. It doesn't sound bad. And then again, what the fuck do I know? Like, like, who the hell are all these people now? You purchase stuff. You do that thing. You. Fuck knows what this person does. But you can sell things to them as well. Okay, that's the dude that does the mine. Deal for items. Okay, so that's gambling. What the fuck is this? A vase I'd never feel the settings of our sun. In a personal map device, okay? What? Random shit. Exchange items. What is this? <laughs> this can be used to trade with Gwen. A sun artifact. Exceptional sun artifact. Um, expedition. Expedition question mark. <laughs> I 
Place an item with a veiled modifier into the slot to unveil its options, then select one to place on the item. Then your hire will also be able to craft modifiers of a type similar to the blowy uppy thing as you do. Ah. Place dynamite and blow the trigger. Okay, that thing. Done that a couple of times. So every single time I open one of those expedition chests, I get a certain kind of currency, I'm guessing. And that currency that can then be used by him to purchase stuff, I'm guessing. And then June is the person we are at right now, right? And this is for syndicates. And what the fuck is syndicate? <laughs> I'm sorry if this comes across as absolutely like just idiotic from my side, but I mean this is a whole new a whole new story for me. To come across it this act. Ah, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, so that was an absolutely overwhelming story. So, still got no idea how much damage I actually do. My defense is horrible on the lightning side. It's capped out everywhere else. And chaos resistance, I'm like it negative. <laughs> Armor 879. Not horrible. Level 68. And making my way through the list. But I actually think I'm going to call it a night there. Um, you'll be attacked by bandits, and when you defeat them, uh, you kill them, and they drop items with a veiled mod that you can unveil, and you get a crafting recipe. Okay. I'm guessing this is where you start. Are these veiled mods and these crafting recipes, is this where you can start building your more endgame tailored gear? And then, of course, these are crafting recipes that I get to use, like at my hideout, to add certain modifiers to my gear. Like I've done with the resistances at the moment. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, I thought I understood the basics of it, and little did I realize that I haven't even scratched the surface of what's capable or possible in this game. It's ridiculous. You get to pick one out of three to unlock. Which will item you loot? Okay, that actually sounds like it's going to be actually pretty interesting. Well, I'm definitely going to be continuing, and then I'm on planning on finishing off the Act 10, well, Act 9 and 10 tomorrow night. Roughly about the same time, about half past 9 p.m. my time. And then trying to finish off there and start seeing what the end game offers. Start having a look what the hell you're referring to when you say maps, what these veiled items are, and what it looks like when your build actually starts getting good. I'm actually looking forward to a lot of that. Looking forward to it. So am I. Definitely. <laughs> and it helps when you've got somebody who's guiding you. But yeah, so like I said, the uh, YouTube channel has now been set up. Uh, the rest of my um, Twitch page has now been set up. My overlays has been set up. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope the chat wasn't too distracting or too big. I hope the overlay actually looks nice. Now it's just a case of growing the fan base <laughs> growing the community i've even got a stream ended page <laughs> okay
no problem because i do have it on my um about section in the twitch i'll just have to go and see how to add it to my bio flashy stuff thank you <laughs> hope you have a lovely evening further and thank you very much for the help and for anybody else who listens to this video after the fact you're always welcome have a lovely night further or day